everyone and welcome again to my channel. My name is Anneli and I do fragrance related videos so if you're interested in this type of content what are you waiting for? So today we're going to speak one of my all-time favorite brands. Sorry I'm just trying to zoom you. You wait come. Oh okay you know guys I don't do any montage so I just post my video as it is that's why you can see this up down up down anyway today we're going to speak about my all-time favorite brand literally this is top three this is my favorite brand it's called Orto Parisi and for those of you who don't know anything about Orto Parisi go check one of my uh, I think I posted, yeah, I posted last summer about Mega Mare their very successful fragrance which smells literally like the sea like that's the point it smells like the sea that's why it's called Mega Mare and I bought I bought another fragrance from the, their line from this brand and it's called uh, Orto Parisi Berga Mask as the name says itself um, it's made it's composed of, of bergamot and musk so really firstly uh, for the long time I was searching for a very long lasting citrus and a very long lasting mm, kind of sea vibes fragrances and then I finally found and I found both of this Orto Parisi and the I mean in this in this brand because I couldn't find it anywhere so for those of you who don't know, um, uh, Alessandro Contieri, who is the main person behind Orto Parisi, he never really reveals his... Oh my god, I love my flower. Do you see how easily distracted I am? <laughs> my ADHD is really seen everywhere, huh? Like, I just see this, this flower which I, I, I adore, I adore roses. I don't, I don't like red ones, but like this color or... This color, I do. If you're like me, let me know in the comments. Sorry, just my my concentration is very bad, and and you know, and and kind of the more that I'm going, like the more the older that I get, it's just more horrible that it gets. I don't know what to do. Anyway, I'm just being distracted. I saw the rose and I started speaking about it. Let's go back to the subject. So um, I adore musk, you know, very clean wintery scent, but the bergamot is my favorite line. I love citrusy bergamot. And then I said, you know what, I'm gonna do uh, one bergamask. Uh, I'm gonna try this one because this could be my perfect. Ah, oh, it's just perfect. It's really this musky scent, um, but not wintery. I would put this very to the spring and 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 see and oh my god in summer because it's very fresh mm, like what I read so far Alessandro Gontieri he does many of his fragrances inspired like real life I don't know by the um, body others and to be honest I don't like this um, this idea because for me body others they just don't smell nice is the way it is oh my god I'm brightening so much I don't know why I'm writing I mean it is warm where I live uh, I live, oh my god, <laughs> this is very, and I look so pale, but in reality, I'm not this pale, let me try this, yeah, I think this seems more natural, like my skin, it's very, uh, yeah, this tone, kind of yellow, yellowish, I don't know why, I don't know why I'm just switching to this, anyway, this is anyway chit chat video, and fragrance, and bergamot, so I have the right to chat chit chat a little bit from the other side. By the way, I don't know when we speak about skin types, have you noticed how really the idea of the perfect skin, it's really changing. It used to be very, very, you know, white skin was really like the idea for everything. Now it's changing, especially like uh, it's more emphasize on this bronzy skin or Middle Eastern, you know, yellowish, um, I don't know, I would say like olive skin or as I call dark white, I've just noticed this difference, even in the makeup sphere and everything, and then I just love it. And even the idea of beauty standards are changing. For example, I think that now everyone got this lip fillers. I think that uh, the main idea behind this is that we we value more this multicultural beauty like people who when you see their features you don't know where they're from so they have like big big eyes 
plumpy lips, uh, you know, a lot of hair. You know, you don't know if they're Caucasian, if they're white, if they're African, what's the mixture behind this? And I think that now this became beauty standard. I don't know what your thoughts on this. I think it's beautiful. And also, I think that the idea of the woman, especially a woman, but even the man, that it should be like, it's, it's changing. It's not anymore you need to be skinny or muscular. It's changing. Even though, yeah, sometimes I think that the whole movement is going like too in the too extreme i don't know but on the other hand like where is the line where does something becomes extreme like everyone has its own definition of what is extreme like what is extreme spending what is extreme fat what is extreme skinny i don't know i think that the idea behind the movement like body positivity that everybody and also every feature should be included in the beauty standards i think that's amazing but i just sometimes feel it went too far and that like you today you cannot say anything because you will be accused that you're uh either that you are fat phobic or you know racist for anything and i i think that's negative so i don't know i think that everything should be questioned even if we speak about beauty standards about you know anything should be question there should be no taboos so if you're posing imposing on me like beauty feature this should be respected i should have my decision to say no but i don't like it anyway i switched completely from the subject i don't know why because we started speaking about we i started speaking about my skin how i have olive skin and how i see that more and more uh, beauty products there are for olive skin for example on my skin pink looks horrible literally horrible it's it has cold cold subtones it looks horrible but orangey tones they suit me very nice and I today can see that there are more and more this orangey subtones anyway let's go to Berga mask price point it's fair I think it is 150 euros but you have 50 milliliters and I think that for a fragrance like this and for this fragrance house which uses, which uses very rare ingredients, this is fair pr price point. For example, if I compare it to Kaeli, which is one of my also favorite brands, come on, like the long lasting power is not existing. I adore Kaeli's, but they're more, I think that publicity is so like, wow, it's a huge hype and everything. They're great, they're interesting fragrances, but when it comes to longevity, projection doesn't exist. You choose, however, you choose anything from Orto Parisi, it's like nuclear. Everyone asks me, I put this on my hair and everything. Everyone asks me, what is this? Like you smell so fresh, mm, what is this? So I really can't wait for the spring to come. We're in the mid-March, uh, so only 10 days. And for this summer, I will be wearing this a lot. Really, like a lot. I'm planning to wear this a lot. Mm, and yeah even the color orange is one of my favorite colors or white is my favorite color then uh, pale orange so peach color and baby blue it's like my favorite colors and i think it just suits me even my skin tone everything and all the citrusy but especially bergamot orange mandarin are my favorite this is the only long lasting citrus that i've ever found so so far so far so please give it a shot, just like try it. And about what I wanted to say also, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> just, yeah, not to forget. But I ha by the way, there you have the sign of infinity, which I think it's super beautiful, super interesting. Anyway, I just love it. I really, really love it. Fragrances are something very important to me. And all Orto Paris is out of the game. You will never find something like Orto Paris, you trust me this guy behind the brand is just wow he's he seems like an artist to me and all his creations are very artistic go give it a try this is not for everyone disclaimer this is not a massive hype fragrance also like mega mare people will not massively like it but it's very beautiful so give it a shot it it lasts forever i put it when i go to sleep in the morning i still can smell it i did the test everyone asks me even though i haven't worn it a lot because i'm waiting for the spring but is it the word definitely which um which um like how would i rate it which grade i would give it for me mark is nine out of ten 
it's not 10 out of 10 only because literally little bit in it I want to say it uh, like I want to say in French it needs more complexity that's the only thing because it's very straightforward Bergamot mask I mean Bergamot and mask ah, it will be everything for me today I will I hope you liked it if you have tried Orto Parisi Bergamot let me know your uh, opinion and thank you again for tuning in uh, from now on I will be more and more regular and if you want me to try some fragrance just write down. See you soon. Ciao. Mm. Bye.